You're listening to That Gets My Goat. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to another session Meh. of Goat Getting. I'm Big Anklevich. And I'm Rich Outfield. And it looks like you've got a sandwich there. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit hungry. Let oh. me chew. Should I just vamp here for a minute while you finish your sandwich? Please tap dance. Hello, my darling. Hello, my honey. I guess there was something that I wanted to talk about tonight, and I don't know. Oh, please know. do. Oh, please do. I don't know how well this will come out <laughs> because there are certain sensitive subjects, right. topics, and we have touched on some of them on our, our various shows, but there's still other you know, you know what I mean. If you look at our submission guidelines, there's certain things that we try not to talk about, and those right. things we have talked about. But another thing that we haven't talked about is race. Oh yeah, you're really asking for it, aren't you? And yeah, I, I don't want to. That, that's something where all you have to do is say that word, the the other R word, and people become defensive, or people they get ready to become offended. And that's not what I wanted to talk about. I, I just wanted to ask a question and try and look at it. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, they announced this guy, Henry Cavill, uh, is the new Superman. Okay. And, okay. and he's a British guy. And there was a lot of stink when that came out. There's like, hey, hey, you can't cast Mexican. Wait, what is he? You can't cast an England man as Superman. He's American, man. He does fight for truth, justice in the American way, after all. And I was, I was really surprised by that because, literally, I mean that, not a single soul among the six billion inhabitants of this planet yes. complained that we had a British Batman. I've never heard anybody. You know, I don't know that I've ever... Well, I must have at some point, but maybe I just thought he was putting on the accent. I don't know that I ever realized that he was British. That Christian Bale is yeah. English. And then you talked about him at the Oscars. He's like, oh, I've, I've like thank all my friends and, and everybody helped me when I was screen. And he's like the most English. Uh, that's probably not the right. The the. I don't know how to he describe the accent. He was even hoity yeah. upper crust <laughs> English. The lowest, lowest crust of the British. And somehow he comes off as completely American when he does his Batman shtick. Well, the, he's an actor. Yeah. And there's no better actors than the British. That's true. But when they announced Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, I don't remember people saying, Hey! Those Andrew guys Garfield. are dentally... Oh challenged and they're tea drinkers f them is he also he's also british we got a british spider-man and nobody cares and i think most of that is because people didn't know who andrew garfield is it could be but there were all sorts of cries of outrage when henry cavill was cast mm -hmm. and to me it just it didn't make any sense as long as he sounds american as long as he's an english actor who can pull off a, a, right. an american i don't care you know i would rather he look like superman first and foremost and then we can work on the accent you know it just it was really weird when people were like oh I'll go back to mother russia <laughs> you know whatever idiotic americans say and listen superman's not american he's not even from earth <laughs> am, am i wrong <laughs> I mean, you can say he was raised in Kansas or whatever, but Lex Luthor is more American than Superman. <laughs> Anyhow, so it, it just that was weird to me of just, you know, how dare you cast this particular ethnicity? And I, I realize that there's a difference between ethnicity and race. Uh huh. So I've been sort of easing into it. But there's been a really, really big stink about the casting of Idris Elba in Thor. Idris Elba is a, a black man. You can't say African-American because he's English. <laughs> okay. Um, right? Right. I mean, Charlize Theron is African-American. From South Africa, right? Right. Oh, well, there you go. Um, he's, he's, he's got dark skin. <laughs> he's black. I, I, I mean, well, you can say black when, without that, it being... I think that is okay. And may, you know what? Maybe I'm being too sensitive now. It's like, oh, <laughs> please don't think I'm racist for using the B word. But... Uh, I think they, the B they, word is actually bitch, so you didn't use it. Oh, okay. 
uh, Idris Elba is this actor, uh, you know, like probably in his forties, mm-hmm. uh, an English actor, and he's he's played a lot of American characters. I, you and I have seen him in things before, and you've never blinked because he just sounds like us. Okay, um, I, I think I first saw him on this television show called The Wire, but he's done a lot of of of, of English stuff, but. Apparently, it's not all right that he's playing a Norse god. And so there have been people saying, hey, that's not that's not cool. That's not right. You're fucking with things that are, are outside your can, man. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's there, outside your can. There were no black guys in Valhalla, man, or in Asgard, or in the world created by two New York Jews. And so I, I was talking to my friend Jeff, who's a huge fan of Thor, a huge fan. I mean, he knows all the characters and he knows who's okay. playing them in this movie and whether they look like them and, and what their backstory is and all that, which is fine. I'm that way with the X-Men. I'm that way with Spider-Man. And uh, a lot of times when they cast somebody that doesn't look like the character, you know, I do wonder, why? Why, why are you doing that? But with this particular character, I didn't care. Okay, so his, his, the character that he plays is Heimdall, and, and that's one of the gods that protects the gate between Asgard and Midgard, which is Earth. Okay. That, at least this is what my friend has said. And then he's the brother of Sif, who is, I guess, the— Dark two, Lord of the Sith? <laughs> the, the lowest lane to Thor's— Superman, you know, the the love of his life kind of okay. thing. He eventually marries and that. But is this a is she a goddess then? Yes. Okay, so she's not the earth woman that he meets she's or something not, like that. She's not Natalie Portman if that's what Okay. You're now I, I don't know anything about Thor, so I was just curious. Sorry. Well, I, you know, and I don't know much either, except for that I have a friend that's super into it. And you know how that is. You can't help but learn a little bit about it from listening to your friend talk. Uh-huh. Anyhow, uh, I guess it's upsetting to some people, and I don't want to say that it's just, you know, trailer trash or it's just racists or bigots or whatever. So I asked my friend, who's a big fan, I said, well, does this bother you? And he's like, eh, no, not really. But he didn't come right out and say no. And I said, oh, okay, well, I, I, it doesn't bother me. And that's when he, he got angry and he said, well, you don't care about the character. You don't care about any of the characters in Thor. So, of course, it doesn't bother you. And I was saying, well, I, I'm just saying that it doesn't bother me that they would have – and again, see, I'm tempted to say African-American. If you're English, you're not American. <laughs> uh, that they would have uh, a dark-skinned guy or a guy of African – uh, uh, Just say a black man. Well, see, I'm really – Dark-skinned, I think. He's dark-skinned, That's man. true. I'm just saying that's I, – I, I think that's like saying a colored person. That, that We've moved beyond that kind of stuff. Black man is is okay to say. All right, to me it does it, it doesn't bother me that you'd have a black man as a god mm-hmm. because I don't I just don't think that way. And then Jeff said, "Oh yeah, well you got super super mad when they turned the kingpin black in Daredevil. You're you're just as racist as those people that are upset about Idris Elba." And it gave me pause mm-hmm. because, oh, yeah, I was furious when Michael Clark Duncan was cast as the kingpin. And I still am <laughs> all these years later. But I like to think that it's because they did such a crappy job with the kingpin, one of the great Spider-Man villains. Or you can say Daredevil villain if you want to be an asshole. <laughs> um, I mean, they, they, they broke this guy's friggin' legs at the end of the movie. They, they humiliated him or whatever. And it's like, there's no going back from that. Plus, I don't know if you can cast John Goodman as I'd like them to cast as the kingpin in the future. Because once you've gone black, you can never... <laughs> Go back. I've heard that. I, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to put that question forth to you because you know me. And am, am I a racist because I was upset about the Michael Clark Duncan thing? I don't think so. I think it's the same. I mean, it's 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 the same kind of thing that you were talking about where the character is beloved to you. And the way the character was done is what you like. And so... When they take that and needlessly change it, you know, that can be upsetting. I don't know if it's like fine to do with some characters and not with others. 
or maybe that's just going to upset some people because they're more into it than others because they're not so into it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that that makes you a racist. You saw Daredevil, right? I did, yeah. What, what did you think of the Kingpin in that movie? Did, were you aware that he was supposed to be the Kingpin? I was, yeah. I think I, I, I knew that already. And I didn't know the Kingpin that well when I saw the movie. You know, I know that he was supposed to be a crime, but I would have seen him more as like a godfather type of guy rather than what they went with. Seen him as uh, Marlon Brando or something instead of uh, what they chose to do. I don't know, though. I mean, it didn't upset me. The movie itself upset me. It was just one big turd steaming from one end to the other. Um, and there was all sorts of things in that movie that upset me okay. with how awful and lame they were. Uh, the fact that the guy was black rather than white didn't upset me much. But I can understand, you know, that that would upset you because, yeah, you're like you said a hundred times before, you're a huge Spider-Man fan. And all these characters mean something to you. And when they needlessly screw with it, that can be upsetting because it's different. It changes the character. The character's backstory is different because of that. Uh, I don't think that that makes you right, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, a, a listener that we have that's black can say, oh, yeah, no, you're totally a racist. And I've heard this said before, and I agree with it. I, th- I want to say it was Sidney Poitier that said it. You know, he's looking forward to the day when they cast people not because the character's supposed to be black and so they cast a black guy in there. Or not because they're trying to fill in all the minority cards, you know, okay, we're going to have this character be the black character and this character is going to be the white character and this one's going to be the Hispanic character and we got to have them all on there so we can draw in all the audiences. But just because that person is a good actor and they want that person to play the part. You know, I, I've heard him say that in the interview somewhere, you know, where they're talking about that, cast the person based completely on their merits as an actor and how well they do the part and not in any way based on their skin color or the demographic they're trying to fulfill. And I can understand where he's come from, and that would really mean something, especially to an actor. You know, I, I got this part because of how good of an actor I am and not because of whatever. And maybe that's why Idris Elba was cast as the person that he's playing in Thor. Because because of his talent? Right, because they looked at this guy and said, you know, this guy's the best guy for the part. Is he a big dude? I don't really know Idris Elba. I'm trying to think of something that I've seen him in. Is there something I've seen him in? Maybe not. (laughs) Is he a big... He's not like... His father supports Manchester United. That's important. He's <laughs> not a muscle bound or whatever. He's, I mean, not, he's He's more of a, you know, he plays a cop or he plays... I don't know. He's an actor. You believe him as a, a, a businessman. You believe him as a thug. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's not a muscle head or something like that where you, he can only do those roles. Right. He's not somebody where they're going to look at him. Well, this guy looks imposing. Let's make him the guard of the gate to the mid guard or whatever. And I don't know, maybe that's why he was cast. And if so, that's really cool that that's the way things are going in some cases. Well, okay, let's let me play devil's advocate because I you are of the devil. I am. (laughs) He hugs me sometimes. No, um, let's say that he was cast because of his skin tone. Are there really going to be people that go see Thor because there is a black actor in there? I, I would think not. You're going to go see it because you're interested in what the movie's about, right? Okay, the the Kat Dennings character, Natalie Portman's bitchy little friend, (laughs) she seems to be in there to draw a a certain portion of the audience of the girl that's going to be in the row directly in front of us texting through the whole effing movie when you and I go (laughs) see it. She'll stop texting to watch her parts, though. Like, oh... This girl's like me. And she's going to be like, you're right. It is stupid. <laughs> you're right. There aren't gods. <clears throat> I'm upset about that way more than I could ever be upset about Idris Elba. <laughs> I, you know, I just don't know. Okay, Samuel L. Jackson showed up at the end of Iron Man as Nick Fury, a character that uh-huh. for 50 years was white. Mm-hmm. But I was just 
happy that there was something after the credits. Plus, it was Samuel yeah, L. Friggin' Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Cool. Plus, it was Nick Fury, and he turns around and he says, you know, that there's going to be an Avengers movie when you're all old. And I just that to me was so cool. I maybe there are people who grew up with Nick Fury that don't like that. I mean, I don't like the Ultimate Universe where Sam Jackson Nick Fury comes from. Uh-huh. But in that movie, I was totally happy about him showing up. It could be, or maybe these people that were raised fifty years on this Nick Fury that he was originally, they've already had to deal with the Ultimate Universe. And the Sam Jackson Nick Fury, who was made to be Sam Jackson, they drew him to be Sam Jackson. So it's cool that they got Sam Jackson to actually play the part in the end. So maybe they've already had their chance to throw their fit and be all upset. And and when he shows up in the movie, that you know, oh yeah, okay, it's that one again. Mm-hmm. They've already changed it on them, so they don't need to get upset. I don't know. Uh, uh, hold on, just one second. I mean, we've been talking for a no, no, while. no. I haven't said the F word yet. You. Don't remember, but you probably actually have. Oh, okay. We're going to split this up because we try to keep these Get My Goats reasonably sized as opposed to the regular show, which always runs an hour and a half or longer. So we're going to stop now and we're going to continue our conversation again next week. Folks can listen to that. So let's just say adieu. Okay, good night. Thanks for listening, folks. That Gids My Goat is produced under a Creative Commons 3.0 license for some reason. It, well, probably we should just go to IMDb so you can see who Idris Elba is. Sounds good to me. And I don't think you'll recognize him because he doesn't. Now, with a name like Idris Elba, he sounds like he could be Norse or something along those lines. Ugh. Oh, well, that doesn't help you much. <laughs> just a picture we of went covering to his face. The IMDb, yes. And, okay. <laughs> um, I was wrong. Look, he's, he's, he's not that old. But. In the show that I was watching, it was a show called Luther. He clearly had gray at his temples, which made me think that he was a little older. And we were looking for his character? How would you say it? Heimdall? Heimdall, maybe.